Hello everyone, Amut here from the Target Com YouTube channel and today we are going to learn about generic interfaces in Java. So in last video I have already explained what is generic and what is generic class and how can we create it. I also explained how can we create a generic class with one parameter and multiple parameters. So we know already what is generic. So in this video we are going to learn about generic interfaces and why this video is important because most of the interfaces are generic in Java and we generally use it but don't know what it is. Since we know already what is generic and uh, I will try to jump to Eclipse. So how can we create a normal interface? So click on new, go to interface and give some name maybe object info. Okay. So we can see it's public interface and object info. Object info is the name of the interface. Okay. Now this is this is a general general interface, right? Simple interface. Or if I want to create and create a generic interface, how can we do that one? The way is same as we create a generic class. So after the name of interface, just use the diamond, okay, and put a type. Okay, it might be anything like TUB already I have explained in my previous session. So here I am creating a generic interface by providing T and I will have a have an abstract method here which will simply uh, print. Okay, so the it will return T same type then get object info and it will again take one variable of type T only. Okay, so this is simple interface, but it's not simple interface. This is not generic interface. Why? Because we use the type type parameter here, and the same type parameter, whatever we are passing, it will replace by here and here. Suppose if you pass integer, then it will be here integer. Then the this method will take an integer value, and the the return type of this method will be an integer only. Okay, so how can we create a class or implemented class for this generic interface so we have multiple ways okay so first we will be let me go and create a class first and i will create like object info usage okay what i'm going to do i need to implement right so to implement the interface we need to use the implements keyword and pass the interface name what is what is interface name object info so as soon as we type this object info interface name it is asking okay this interface is a generic interface so you need to pass the t what is the type parameter you want to pass so i will pass integer okay so when you pass integer this is called type argument okay so once we create once we implement the interface or once uh, once a class implements the interface it is showing here red line. Why? Because object info has one abstract method. So whatever class is implementing that interface, that, that class is responsible to provide the implementation for the abstract method. So let me click on add, add unimplemented method session. You can see the same method, whatever you have in the interface is coming here. And you can see it is taking the integer type and returning integer only. So instead of returning the null, I will return well. Okay. So let me create a main method here. I will create an object of this class. There no need to pass any generic type because we have already defined that this particular class will implement this interface of type integer. That's why we are not passing any F, any generic arguments here. So if you do o1 dot get object info you can see it is taking a value of type integer so let me pass 10 and if you see the return type of this method it will be integer type only why because already i have defined here whatever type it is accepting the same thing it is returning so this is on me like how you're defining it's not necess necessary that you need to use this way only okay it might return some string it might return some anything so I, I will store into integer type value. Okay, so let me use integer i1. Let me print this out. Okay, good. Now suppose instead of 10 if I pass 
what will happen it is complaining if you mouse over on this it is saying that the method get object info integer in the type object info use is not applicable for the argument double it is saying that this method is accepting only integer why you are passing double since we have already created or this implemented class is already passing that this interface will have will be type of integer right that's why it is not allowing us to pass anything here and here you don't have any other option to implement this uh, interface so that you can pass any kind of value so if you want to achieve so uh, that case then you can implement the interface in different way for what for that you need to do let me simply duplicate this class and this time instead of creating a non generic class you pass the you create the generic okay so let me pass the t again and let it be t okay okay so let me delete this one let me delete everything so what i did in the last class okay if you see this object info usage okay this usage to if you can see here so what i did i did i created the non generic class and trying to implement a generic interface okay but in this case what i am going to do i am going to create a generic class itself okay generic class and if you see here again it's showing the red line and if you try to add unimplemented method you can see it's the same day, right here i have not deciding the type of interface in advance implemented class is also generic okay you can see i am creating the generic class itself that's why it's not getting replaced here so what i value you are passing instead of null i will return that value let me create a main method again and let me create an object of object info usage okay and this time you can pass whatever type argument you want to pass maybe o1 equal to new object info usage so o1 dot what i need to do get object info you can see it is taking the integer value because we created the object of this implemented class by passing the type argument as integer so let me pass integer 10 so, and again the return type of this method will be integer only so i will i will store this in integer okay and let me print it out okay now the difference you will feel here if you try to store let me create another method another object and this time i am going to create a double okay so o2 so now you can pass 10.5 and when you pass this 10.5 then the return type will be double it will be o2 dot get info okay now you can run it and you can see it will work perfectly fine so what we did we we created a generic class only to implement a generic interface so that you can use whatever way you want whatever type you want to pass you can pass it okay so this is better approach compared to this now suppose you don't want to pass any generic okay means you want to implement the generic interface without passing any type argument let's see what happens so let me copy this class again so here what i am saying that instead of creating a generic class i would will not pass anything and anyway, even in i will not pass anything here as well okay so let me remove this method again and let me remove this overridden method as well so what i am trying to do here i am creating a non generic class and i am not passing any type argument to the interface as well which is a raw uh, which is a generic interface you can see it is showing that object info is a raw type raw type now why because i am not passing any generic here or type arguments if you try to implement the unimplemented method in this class then you can see what is the difference here 
so once you don't provide the chain disk so it will be like same as object okay by default it's taking the object so it will return i will return the same value again so let me get a main method and if i try to create an object of this class okay if i do open dot uh, get object info you can see it is taking the object type now because it it doesn't know like what type of uh, value it can take that's why it is by default it is taking as object because object is super class of all the types right that's why it is taking object so you can pass like 10 okay so if you see the return type of this method is again object because it doesn't know what kind of what type will be that's why it is getting giving the object so if you want to since you pass the integer if you want to store this value integer i1 then it will complain because why because this method returning you an object type and you're trying to store this into an integer value okay integer variable so you need to explicitly cast it you have already seen this type of example when we are not using the generics so if you're trying to use a generic interface in a non-generic way then you need to do explicit casting which is again headache okay Java application. Great. Now, can we create a genetic interface with multiple parameters? Yes, we can do. Same way, whatever we did for the class in the last video, same way we can use it here as well. So that's all in this video. I hope that you understand what is genetic interface now and how can we implement it. And I have also shown if you are using it as a raw type, then what is the disadvantage? So if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and save with others. Thank you everyone.